Howdy folks, as you probably know, uh, the monks who make chartreuse have decided to concentrate on their monk activities, their monkey business, uh, instead of trying to keep up with the global demand for chartreuse. And as a result, it can be difficult and or expensive to get a hold of chartreuse. So today I'm gonna do a little comparison of green and yellow chartreuse substitutes. I got three options for green and one option for yellow. Uh, let's do some pseudoscience. Now, before we get started, let me just address VEP. There are these fancy bottles of chartreuse called VEP, which just stands for something in French, and uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know any French. It would be a great uh, substitute for green or yellow chartreuse if it wasn't just crazy expensive. And it's also allocated, well, I do have a bottle of green chartreuse VEP here. It's, it's a bit richer, uh, a little bit more viscous um, of an experience than green chartreuse. Um, it's also 1% less alcoholic. But anyway, we're gonna ignore it for now for these experiments because it's not very practical as a substitute being so expensive. So what do we have? Well, I've got three green chartreuse substitution options. Uh, the first is called Genepi de Chamois. It used to be called Genepi de Alpes or de Alps. I still call it that. I still think of it that way, but the label has changed. So I don't know what they're calling it. I guess we're just gonna call it Genepi for the purposes of this video. Um, it's from France. Uh, it's well regarded. It is should be pretty much uh, available uh, everywhere. And it's supposed to be a pretty reasonable substitute for green chartreuse. Second, we have a uh, ver, or it, I think it might be pronounced ver. Uh, it's an Oregon-based um, green chartreuse-like product. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how available it is. It's sort of definitely available in Oregon, but uh, if you've seen this anywhere in a store, let me know down in the comments because I'm a little bit curious how widespread it is. And third, we've got this stuff from New York City. There's a place called Faccio Bruto that have been making some fun liqueurs. And this is their one called Centurb. It is green and it is obviously trying to be a chartreuse-like product. Um, for one thing, scent means hundred, herb means herb, scent herb means a hundred herbs and supposedly chartreuse is made with a hundred herbs. So that's definitely what they're going for. Now for yellow chartreuse, I, there's really only one option that I know of and that's strega. Strega in Italian means witch and there's a little witch on the label, which is pretty fun. But for now, we're gonna concentrate on the green. Uh, let's taste through these and just see what we think, see see how they compare to, to the green chartreuse. Now, it turns out I actually ran out of green chartreuse uh, and I put out a call on Instagram to see if anyone locally had a little bit of chartreuse that I could borrow an ounce of. And a loyal viewer Instagram follower named Sarah actually came through and I went and grabbed uh, an ounce of green chartreuse from her, which was very nice. Then I was also lent an almost full bottle by an anonymous benefactor. So now I got plenty of chart green chartreuse for now until I return this bottle just to do my comparisons with. Let's go ahead and taste through these real quick. Before we start, I had to close the curtains. The glare was getting to me. Okay, green chartreuse. You know all about it. You've heard of it. You love it. Um, let's just give it a taste. It's so bright. It's sharp, but you don't mm. get a lot of that alcohol burn or like that al al ethanol taste even though it is 55%, which by the way, none of these other bottles are 55%. The highest one we have is 50. It's got a lot of like that fresh, sort of vibrant herb. It's a, it's a real vibrant flavor, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, it's delicious. Let's move on. Let's go to Genepi de Chamois. Now this is a Dolan product. It is 45%. Uh, it's French and it's supposed to be, you know, Pretty reasonable substitute. Okay, on the, on the nose, it is definitely not nearly as as intense. Um, it's got a certain sharpness. It's got it's got a nice flavor. Mm. It's a little bit more sweet. It's a little bit more mellow. It's got maybe less, sort of a little bit of a, like a honey flavor to it. It's a bit softer, a little less complex. 
Um, but you know, the, the, it's in the general ballpark for sure. Now we're gonna move on to Vare. It is 50% uh, alcohol. Uh, it is an Oregon-based product. It's got a certain, hmm, it's not quite as vegetal as chartreuse, and it's got a certain licorice element to it. Yeah, it's a, it's a little hotter. The licorice really comes mm. through in the palate. Mm. Um, it, I mean, it's nice, it's, it's herbal for sure. Uh, not maybe not quite as vibrant as chartreuse, but I mean Pretty good. It's got it's like a nice vegetal Aftertaste after the after the licorice is like a vegetal note. I Mean that's pretty good now last but not least is the Centurb. It is 45% uh, um, Of course it comes from New York City. I did have to mail order this from uh, Aster wines who are awesome by the way. Uh, I love Aster wines if you don't mind paying some shipping, um, you can get a, a lot of great stuff there. A very sharp herb flavor. You get a little mm. bit more of the ethanol, like a sort of more alcoholic aftertaste. It's part of the magic of chartreuse is that it's very high proof. It doesn't taste hot at all. There, I mean, there must be just a ton of sugar in there, but somehow it doesn't really taste sweet. You don't really detect the sugar. Uh, it just sort of turns into this sort of bright herbalness. The Centurb is is working, um, but it does have that, you can taste the alcohol a bit, um, which is a shame because it is delicious. Of course, the real question is, how is it gonna work in a cocktail? I've decided to try these out in a drink called the Bijou. If you haven't had a Bijou, you should definitely make yourself a Bijou. It is uh, gin, sweet vermouth, and green chartreuse with a dash of orange bitters. I decided to go with Beefeater for this, uh, just to keep it simple. I have a fresh bottle of Cookie Torino. We'll use all four of our green chartreuse substitutes uh, to make our bijous. Now, there, there is a, an equal parts recipe out there. Uh, that I, That's the first one I learned, but I think we're gonna do the sort of two to one to one version. Uh, an ounce and a half of gin, three quarters of vermouth and chartreuse. Uh, that feels a little bit more modern and Hopefully the chartreuse elements will shine through. Um, if they don't, well, that'll tell us something. All right, let's mix these up. We did it. We got these four bijous made, and let's give them a try. We're gonna start off with the chartreuse, um, because that's the standard. Beautiful drink. The chartreuse definitely comes through. I think this recipe is fine. It's very mm. bright, like the uh, chartreuse mm. is, mm -hmm. it, comes, okay. it has a, that sort of hotter aftertaste, a sort of bright finish, uh, which comes through nice in this. Um, you know, delicious. Uh, let's keep that in our minds, and then we'll compare it next to the Genepi. The color on all these is r remarkably similar, which is kind of cool. The Genepi does not have that bright finish. It's a little sweeter. Yeah, it's got a little bit of like a honey mm. taste. It's almost like it's got a honey mm. sweetness. Yeah, this one, not quite as exciting as the regular chartreuse, but I think, you know, in a pinch, it doesn't taste bad. Through this, we might have, we might want to bump up the Genepi, I guess, a little bit, and if you were using that in this recipe, Hmm, uh, the jury's out on that one. Let's let's try the ver. Now the ver, as I recall, had sort of a licorice kind of aftertaste. Let's see if that comes through. The ver flavor comes through. Oh, it's, it's nice, it's, it is a bit bright. Mm. It's bright like mm -hmm. the chartreuse. It does have a little bit of that sort of, a hint of that sort of licorice aftertaste, which, you know, I don't mind at all. 
I, know, I think fur is fur standing up pretty good. It's got that uh, that nice sort of vegetal quality to it. Hmm. All right. Last but not least, we've got our Centurb. I mean, again, the color pretty much identical. Pretty good. It's um. Gosh, it's a little more herbal mm -hmm. than the ver. Hmm. It doesn't have that sort of licorice-iness. And just like when we were tasting it, it's got a little bit of, um, get a little bit of that ethanol, sort of a like a hotter aftertaste. It's not bad, I'm not, I'm not against it. Maybe with the Faccio Bruto, maybe I would put in like a bar spoon of sugar or something, something to sweeten it up just a little bit more. I feel like the Chartreuse, even though it's high alcohol, also has a ton of sugar. Uh, and I'm not sure that this, uh, Centurb has as much sugar as the Cent Chartreuse, but, um, I, not bad. Green Chartreuse conclusions. I think the Ver and the Centurb uh, are both pretty good. They get, um, a nice amount of flavor comes through. The Genipi I'm not quite as keen on. Uh, it's just a little bit too sweet, maybe. It's a little bit too honey, honey flavored and doesn't have a, enough of those bright, herb flavors that can cut through the other ingredients. Um, of course, the chartreuse is delicious and nothing will really replace chartreuse, but th those, get, those get to you pretty much where you need to be for, for a cocktail. All right, uh, I think this has been a lot for a day, so I think we're gonna move on to yellow chartreuse, but uh, I think I'll just do that tomorrow. Um, when you see me next, it will be yellow chartreuse time. All right, day two, yellow chartreuse. Um, let's give these a taste and um, see how we feel about them. All right, first up we got yellow chartreuse. Got a beautiful yellow color. Definitely got that chartreuse herbal thing going on. I usually think of these as having a little bit more of a licorice flavor, but let's see how we feel. I mean, sweeter than green chartreuse. Definitely just a little hint of that mm -hmm. licorice anise seed sort of flavor. Um, a nice viscous liqueur quality. Delicious. Let's try the Strega. Not quite as herbal an aroma, but a little bit more licorice on the nose. A little bit more licorice sort of aftertaste, and it's got a little bit of a spiciness, like maybe like a, like a black pepper kind of spice. It's approximately the same amount of sweet, I'd say. Um, they're all the same proof, by the way, also. That's um, 80 proof for both of these. So yeah, I'd say Strega has a little bit more of a, a spicier kind of aroma and a spicier kind of flavor. Um, maybe a little bit more uh, anise seed licorice flavor, uh, and maybe a, just a slightly less sort of uh, herbal, you know, uh, less of the fresh herb, but um, still tastes delicious. All right, so we're gonna try these out in an Alaska cocktail, very simple cocktail, just gin, uh, sh yellow chartreuse, and orange bitters. Um, should be a pretty good showcase for the yellow chartreuse and or the Strega. Let's mix these up. All right, we did it. We got these Alaskas made. Very simple drink. Actually, I haven't had one of these in quite some time. Let's try the yellow chartreuse version. It's very, it's very gin forward, but the chartreuse mm. does mm. punch through there. You can definitely get a nice herbal zing to it, I guess. Um, that's honestly delicious. I almost feel like you could put a little blanc vermouth in there to stretch it out a little bit. That might be good too. Maybe food for thought. That, Figure that out later. Yeah, yellow chartreuse, delicious drink. Uh, let's try the Strega. I mean, the color almost identical. Smells almost the same. That little bit of extra spiciness, mm. I feel like, uh, mixes well with the juniper of the mm. gin. Also delicious. Tastes to me maybe just a little bit sweeter. Uh, it's still pretty hard to tell. Yeah, I guess that means Strega is a reasonable substitute for yellow chartreuse. It doesn't have exactly the same flavor, but 
even in a drink like this where it's one of the most, that's the only one of two elements really, seems to work pretty good. All right, good news. Now, green chartreuse conclusions. Um, I feel like Genepi is more of its own thing than trying to be a substitute for chartreuse and it, it's a reasonable uh, substitute for green chartreuse if that's all you can find. Um, but some of these other ones like the, the Ver and the Centurb that are trying to be green chartreuse substitutes are doing a little bit better job of actually standing in for chartreuse. So I'd say if all you can find is Genepi, go ahead and get that. Uh, if you can find either of these other two, the Ver or the Faccia Bruto Centurb, definitely give those a try if you can't find green chartreuse. And in terms of yellow, go for Strega if you can't find yellow. It seems to be readily available and a pretty, a pretty reasonable substitute. All right, that's all I got. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, then um, go ahead and leave a like, um, leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.